Oh. Now here, this, this here, another story for you. This world, this little, literally, literally, this world has so many memories for me. Because this was the world that completely fucked me over in terms of what the hell do I do? I, I kid you not, I actually was stumped as a kid on this world, this level. Because I didn't understand what you were supposed to do. My little, uh, kid brain, I guess you could say, could not grasp any of the concepts that this world laid down for me. So, I spent hours trying to figure out, what the fuck do I do on this world? Like, this puzzle specifically. And then it clued on me. When I was a fucking kid, like, the last time I ever played the game, what I had to do and I just had to jump on this glass because last time when I jumped on the glass nothing happened because I didn't end up trying moving it I just jumped on the thing and it's like okay nothing happened and I jumped off to my stupidity because as you can see you have to move this thing around and it it's like a Ouija board kind of thing and you have to spell your own name well spell the name of the game the protagonists if you will the protagonists. Yeah. And Tumblr's like, oh, I can finally be free. This glass thing that's actually a ghost. Because it is a ghost. Oh, spooky. So spooky. Mm. Yeah. This, like, I spent hours trying to figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do in that room. Never realizing the so obvious <laughs> fucking answer <laughs> fucking I hate these skeletons I know I, the golden wing like the whole invincibility thing there I actually never used it as a kid because I never thought like to use it and that's why I never killed these things but now I kill them all the time because honestly they're just a nuisance they're not even they're not really all that annoying but there there's just an obstacle really especially for this thing I have to do now anyway so but actually I don't want to do that yet do not want to do that just yet I want to save that one for the last portion of this you'll see exactly what I'm talking about actually you know what you've played this game probably already if you had at least a decent childhood you've probably played this already so you know exactly what part I'm talking about. And it that's actually probably the most memorable yeah, memorable part in this entire game. Well this not this entire game, this level. It has had an impact. I don't know why, it just did. Yeah, see that that's you know exactly what I'm talking about already. If you saw that, you know. Y you know. It's so obvious, you know. Now, here's a jiggy that I never knew. Like, for a long time. Was the fact that you had to shit eggs into these things to give them respect. Because they would sprout flowers and you put the dead to rest. Kind of a morbid concept. Now you can hear them. They're obviously saying thank you. Oh, fuck. I was not paying attention. My phone just went off there. <laughs> oh, well, looks like I have actual time now, so... One second. I know this is not professional, but whatever. I ain't professional in the first place. Come on, there we go. Simple answer, I'm texting women right now. That kind of puts more importance sometimes. But yeah, the, for the longest time... Can you not hear that? It sounds like they're saying, fuck you. That actually was a weird controversy for a little bit because... Guess what? They put a fuck you in a children's game. 
They put a swear word in a children's game. That would cause controversy for a lot of people. I mean, hell. Most people, if their parents are just overprotective as it is, and end up jumping to conclusions before they can even understand anything, mainly because they don't understand the concept of these things in the first place. It's a fucking widely known fact, pretty much. That most people that jump on the bandwagon and say games are evil and stuff either have never played games or have only seen a tad bit of like what the game can bring and just jumps off the conclusion that it's bad from that little part there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's the state of affairs that we are put into right now, but as gamers, we understand that human mind is susceptible to <sighs> jumping to conclusions before they understand a concept already. It, it's the human mind as it is, it's just a quagmire of stupidity. <laughs> what? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn. Let me go up here. Oh. Come on. Thank you. Woohoo! Okay, okay, okay. I never noticed the background of this level is just. It's eerie. It's got like a really empty feeling to it, though all the worlds have that. This one just has that really empty feeling. Like. A, like a horror level should have. It should make you feel alone and scared. And while, oh, fuck you. And while the art style, like in the background and stuff, it's very, it's a JPEG image. Like you can easily tell that's just a fucking flat screen. <laughs> Which I'm so glad a lot of games got out of that. Because it just ruins the experience. It ruins the immersion that you get from this. Even though as a kid, this specifically was just like mind-bogglingly good after playing fucking like Mario and Mega Man for so long this just looks fucking amazing yeah I grew up in that time and that time was I loved that time that was the first memories of me playing video games was uh, actually the original Super Mario Brothers and I uh, still to this day love respect that game but can't really play it anymore it just feels dated to me I love the game still it's just can't get into it anymore which is an odd thing to say because it's such a classic game but it's like I don't know I played it to death pretty much as a kid so that's probably the reason why I just can't play it anymore <laughs> This is, this is actually my cute. This is my favorite transformation. And, and there's no reason why. It's just. It's cute. Look at that. I mean, you are honestly a fucking little pumpkin with googly eyes, shorts, and a backpack. And for some reason, this to me is just so goddamn cute. Like, I cannot place my finger on this why it's so damn cute to me. It's, it's, it's such an abstract thing that's just ooh, it's cute. I like it. I love it. He's he's adorable. No, it's so cute. No. But once again, the the gripe I had with the transformations, most of them, they're just pretty much like, oh hey, you can only fit onto fit through this thing, so you need to be smaller. That's what every fucking transformation pretty much boiled down to in this one. It just shows a lack of creativity to me. I mean, I respect the fact that they put it in because it did uh, change up the gameplay just enough for it to be fresh. Ow, fuck. But the only one that seemed really unique to me was always the crocodile. The termite was actually pretty unique, actually. Only in the fact that you needed to traverse a certain area. Just one area, though. And that in itself changed it up because it's like you couldn't traverse it at all with any other person. 
Except for the walrus, because he has mad skills like that too. So I'm pretty sure they use the same coding for that those transformations and just ended up, I don't know, changing the aesthetic look of it. Which honestly I could see them doing. It would save time and money and stuff, but it would end up making it look like it's a different... Um, it would end up making you think it's a different character and stuff, which they did do a lot in games. <laughs> At least back then, and they still do it nowadays too, it's weird. Eh, whatever. I shouldn't be complaining, I like this game as it is, and I think it's a fucking great game. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I definitely need that, fuck. It 